Hey friends, my name is April Holly Smith and I have been invited by Wendy Valencia to participate in a collab about 2017 financial wins and fails and I am excited to participate with her. So if you have not seen Wendy Valencia's channel, I'm going to have a link um, up somewhere uh, and maybe even down below in my description. I enjoy her channel. I watch it pretty frequently. She has introduced me to some very interesting concepts and I feel like she is a very different um, financially for me and yet at the same time she's shown me that even though her numbers are vastly different in some ways percentage wise we're in exactly the same place on some things which is um, kind of an eye-opener it was an eye-opener for me it was something that I'm because I don't see everyone's finances all the time you don't realize that hey this is what this looks like percentage wise this is you know this percent and this percent these are the same things These are the same position even though they're different numbers she's also introduced me to a couple of channels that I actually really enjoy another one specifically being one big happy very different financial philosophy than me and um, but I really enjoy their videos and I enjoy seeing how they do it because it's different than me so that makes it very interesting so um, and I'll you know what I'll try and link those down below if I don't comment and say hey hey girl share 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 so I'm going to talk about my financial wins and fails for 2017. I'm going to do a little bit of a month by month. I've made notes because smart people do that, okay? Uh, so the first thing I have to say is overall, I do feel like this year financially has been, I don't know if I want to say the best year because I have probably made more money and done more things financially, but this has been the smartest financial year and this year has advanced us financially more than any other year um, ever even though I probably debt you know so okay so first and foremost is at the start of the year our debts were capital one one thousand one hundred ninety four dollars and thirty six cents and Akron general thirteen thousand dollars five hundred eighty three Thirteen thousand five hundred eighty-three dollars and like ninety-nine cents. Really, my OCD is like <sighs> so. At the beginning of the year, I was essentially making like minimums payments. So um, I knew that we would have a big refund coming because of we have like 100 kids and we don't make a ton of money we are going to get earned income credit that year we don't always qualify for that so don't anybody be getting mad at me some years we qualify for it some years we don't if we get a lot of overtime we we don't like i think we missed it by 500 dollars one year and that was like we should have take a couple weekends off but anyway um so we knew that we were going to have that and our plan was to call Akron General and do one of those awesome settlement offers and offer like $6,000, which would have been like, just like I said, like half. So we got our refund like right at the end of February, the beginning of March. And I called it and they laughed at me. Oh my God. pretty much it was so disheartening because I was very much looking forward to like getting rid of this and they're like yeah we can give you 10% off which is like $1,300 you want to do that and I'm like no I don't even have that much money so you know that that was a big hit right here for me that was very difficult and then for real this is this is real <laughs> life I developed a bad attitude towards them and I, I really got mad and I I only paid the minimum for the next like three months which was $92 on $13,000 now I will say because Chris and I had planned what to do with our um, uh, income tax return uh, we had kind of a plan like originally which was to like send half of you know like to send half of the the amount owed to Akron General and then we kind of a little bit here and there 
Well, since that didn't work out, we sat down with a piece of paper and was like, all right, this is, these are the things we need. These are the things we want. Let's do some math. Let's just fill in all the things we want and see how it goes. And we did that. So we had a plan at least. We did send $2,000 to them, like a big fat payment. So it looks like we paid like $2,092, you know, when really I was just angry and started making minimums. So that was a win that we were able to pay two thousand dollars and it was a huge fail that that settlement didn't happen um, in March I was still angry so again I made minimum payments um, but in March I did pay off capital one the eleven hundred dollars and that was part of the um, the income tax return that was one of the things that we were like let's just wipe that out so in April we fully funded our um, our vacation fund which we go to Geo Woodstock every year and that is not the same place. It moves around the country and so we do not pick where we go. We go where it is. Um, and last year it was, I'm trying to think where we went, Asheville, North Carolina. I knew the answer to that. So we, um, we f fully funded that for $3,000 and um, it was a lot of fun because we, it's in North Carolina. so. It was in Asheville, which is where the Biltmore is, the Biltmore Estate, which is the largest private home um, in the United States that was built, that's open to the public. It's it's a huge house. It's the Vanderbilts that did this. Super excited. I wanted to go see that so bad. So we did that. We went to Charlotte for like two days and got to go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame for him. So that was like great. But that whole thing paid for in cash. That's a win. Um, Oh, and you know what? Here's something else um, that we did at, when we got our, and I didn't write it down, I can't believe this because it's a big deal. With our income tax return, I fully funded baby step one, even though on a, on a Pete, I have been fighting this Dave Ramsey fight for a little more than four years because I was pregnant with Evelyn, <laughs> who is four, <laughs> when I was really starting to do this. And yeah, I didn't fully fund baby step one like the whole time. So it's been a, I guess on, on YouTube you would say it was a Dave Ramsey inspired journey. <laughs> Wasn't exactly, we didn't follow it to the letter, which don't, don't do that. Follow it to the letter because he knows what he's doing. Um, so then in May, we completed fully funding Christmas, which was $1,500 for us is what we planned. It was great. Um, but on the downside, I only paid $118.57 because I was still like totally having a bad attitude with Akron General. And, and because of that, literally, I shifted all my energy into funding my sinking funds, which Dave will tell you, don't do, focus. Again, I'm inspired. I, I'm a human. I, I had a bad attitude about it. And then in June, um, we were able to pay $506.22 to Akron General. So you can see like things are starting to change. Um, and also something else that happened, and you could look at this as a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, Dave, on the Dave side, Chris was able to start picking up some overtime, which is yay. Uh, on the downside, it was mandatory overtime, which is stinky because all of a sudden it's like you're losing control over your time and uh, and your schedule, which nobody likes. And it, literally, we have been on mandatory overtime since June. Um, so then in July, we were able to put $544.09 to Akron General. Yay, another good one. In August, I'm like so excited. Just like reading this makes me excited. $1,456.03 to Akron General. Oh my goodness. Like this is because in June and July, it was like Saturdays became mandatory. And then in like August, they went and said, okay, we need more time. We're not going to do Saturdays. We're just going to do mandatory 12s five days a week. So I was pretty excited about 
the amount of money that we were able to send in August, but I was not excited about the mandatory 12s five days a week because when they do that also, instead of having three shifts, like a first, second, and third shift, they go to a day and a night shift. And so like that also just rocks the boat because if you, you don't get to choose either if you're on a day shift or a night shift, they ask you and then they tell you what you end up with. So it's like, but we were fortunate enough up when on day shift. So, okay. So then in September we did no spend timber and in no spend timber, I attempt to, um, I don't spend money. We don't eat out. And then I uh, try to save as much money as possible on groceries. And by that time leading up to no spend timber, I try to, um, double my meals as much as possible within my regular grocery budget so that I have freezer meals and things stockpiled to consume during no spend timber so that I can either have no grocery budget or I can have a drastically reduced grocery budget which sometimes is between 20 and 25 dollars because like you can't buy bread too far ahead of time and um, like eggs at the end of the month like I can buy extra eggs a month before and it'll carry sometimes the first two or three weeks but like that fourth or fifth week I just have to buy eggs you know um and and there's a certain amount of things like we can go two weeks but then like at some point I'm gonna need apples or grapes or something for the kids you know like so we do what we can to keep it under like $25 for the week so and we were pretty successful because we were able to um send $1,938.05 to Akron General, which is a big, 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 big chunky payment. Also during No Spend Timber, we funded a $500 sinking fund so that I could go to Girl 2017, which is the tri-annual Girl Scout convention, the national convention, which happened to be in Columbus, which is two hours south of me. And I was able to have the privilege of volunteering 13 shifts in eight days <laughs> it was a lot um and honestly that i feel like because we had good planning was one of the highlights of my year i was at the airport for three days welcoming people as they came in um we were at the welcome desk and we would kind of pick people up as they would come into the baggage claim and then we would get them to where they needed to go the air connect bus their uber their taxi whatever they needed we would get them where they needed to go and it was just a lot of fun we met some like really important people uh like i met the um the new director of wags like that was so cool and she like let us fangirl over her and we did pictures with her we met lots of national staff we met lots and lots of um council staff from all over the from all over the the nation and we even had um gs oh i can't remember the girl scouts overseas um germany japan um like South America, we had all of, we had girls, we had people from Puerto Rico coming in like that weren't even sure. Like it was very stressful for them because the hurricane and like they didn't know if there was even going to be a plane that was going to be leaving Puerto Rico, much less if they were going to be able to get on that plane. So we, we had a lot of, um, there was a lot of humanity in that. A lot of people, we met so many girl um, delegates and girls that were working to make the national convention happen. Um, and then I also got to see so many of my friends from Las Vegas from the Girl Scouting community that came in because they wanted to go to convention, not because they were coming to see me, but it was like the happiest thing. And then there was somebody that volunteered for me from a council from California and she came down the, the, the escalators and literally I was like, I know you and it wasn't just like me going I know you like I was yelling in the bed I know you I know you <laughs> I know you and she's all like who's that lady yelling at it was a great great experience for me um in October was another a good month we didn't pay a ton to Akron General we paid $350.83 however 
we were able to pay off the six months <clears throat> for our USA car insurance. So we paid like a payment and then this, the current month's payment, which was October and then all of the next four. So that six month chunk was, is done until like March. So that was great, which we, we did not know that we were gonna do. It, it was not planned out that way. The, the planning in fact looked like we were not gonna be able to do that. And then we also were able to cash flow an eye doctor visit for Chris, an eye doctor visit for me, and I have no insurance. Chris does have insurance. And we were able to cash flow um, contacts for Chris, contacts for me, and we also got, um, because of Chris's work, he gets a pair of safety glasses every year funded through them, and we were able to get that with his new prescription. So all of those things were paid for, and actually they some of them came in under budget, and we were able to shift more money to Akron General for that. So in November, we were also able to put $566.37 to Akron General. And in December, we're projecting $2,196.88. I've already paid in as of the time that I'm filming this in the first two weeks, $292. And then because even though we're a month ahead on all of our bills, we pay whatever the bill is as it comes in so that we always have that month ahead, that cushion. And the first week of the month is when all those bills come in. So we pay them. Uh, so usually there's not a, a, there's not as fat an overage for uh, moving towards debt, but we did have like $135 and I think we had $160 this last week. And the same thing is like our, our Dominion bill comes in the second week and uh, you know, just, it's not as spoken for that money at the second week, but like the third and fourth, in this case, I think we have a fifth week in December. Um, all of those weeks, we're looking forward for the next three weeks, putting between um, like five and $700 like each week towards, I know that's like, it's like 60% of our income this month, so. And with luck, we'll be instead of just under four thousand dollars, which is our goal, we'll be at thirty-five, which would be a huge win for us. So overall, we completed baby step one at the beginning of the year. We paid off our capital one mid in mid March, um, and then I paid off capital one again in July. It's three hundred twenty-five dollars. Um, so uh, at this moment, with including my projected numbers, it means we'll have paid off $11,614.20 worth of debt this year, including Akron General and Capital One, which is, I'm going to be upfront with you, it's like we ain't making $40,000 a year. We're not. You can look and see what it takes to qualify for the earned income credit, and you can kind of figure out what range we're in. We're in the 30 something, so like literally one third, 33% plus is going towards our debt right now. So we have been very, very fortunate. I was super, again, super angry about being rejected for the settlement at Akron General. I was just super bad, I was angry about that. Um, and like I said, it was our best financial year to date because we planned for things. Um, we got a brand new bed, a new mattress, like a mattress, like not like a frame or anything. A new mattress for Chris and I, which was really needed. We've been in this house seven years and we've had that same bed and it was used when we got it. So it, it had lived a good life. And so we got that, we cash flowed that. The girls, we, we got rid of their crib and we got them a big girl bed. We got a full size bed for them and they both share that. And that was also cash flowed. And I'm going to tell you that I paid under a thousand dollars. I have a king size bed, and the girls have a full size bed for both of those. I think I paid six fifty for ours and two fifty for the girls. And the girls included the frame because we had nothing. You know, it, they had cribs before, so yeah. I did my homework on that. Hint, hint. I went to Sam's, um, and I also bought it like it. President's Day or something. It was like a big mattress sale. We cash flowed the eye doctor, like I was saying, um, for Chris and I. Um, we paid for Christmas in cash. We paid for our Geo Woodstock trip in cash. We went to Midwest Geobash, my mom and I and the kids. 
cash flowed that entire thing. It was a weekend we went camping, so it wasn't like the most expensive thing. But I think we spent like $150 on it between like the food and the gas and then the stuff. Um, we went to the Mothman Geo Trail in West Virginia at where the site of the Silver Bridge collapse was um, across the Ohio River between West Virginia and Ohio. Again, we did that as a day trip, if I'm not mistaken, and we cash flowed that, the gas, the food, um, the event stuff that we did. And, um, and of course, all that crazy OT started in July, which has, it's like we're getting double paychecks, essentially. Um, so that has really allowed us to move forward with our financial goals. So overall, this has been the best financial year so far for us. So those are my 2017 financial hits and misses. So again, I okay, so before I'm completely done with this video about 2017 wins and fails, some things that I want you to keep in mind because this could be considered an epic fail and it could even cancel out all of the good that's happened this year. It all depends on your point of view. You know, I'm just gonna put that ball in your court and let you have it and um, everyone has an opinion. I don't necessarily need you to share it because we are gonna keep it positive here. So if you're gonna be mean, you can just hold that in. But um, there is the distinct, not possibility, but situation. If I had not gotten mad at Akron General and it just paid all of my tax return to them, I would be already debt free. That's a reality check, isn't it? Did you expect to hear that after the last bit? I do feel like this is the most financially stable year that we've had, so it's the most successful that we've, we've been possibly ever in my adult life, not just with Chris and I being together and like our family. So that's my fail, the one epic fail. I'm still hungry. I want you to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It does not matter. They both help me equally. Although I do love this much more because I love to have the good vibes between you and me. The positivity is wonderful. Um, please, please take some time to watch the other uh, folks that are in this collab. Again, it was hosted by Wendy Valencia. We're going to have links to all of the people in the collab. Please take time to watch them because they are some like interesting people. They are some popular people, some people that you know, and if you don't know, those people are even more important to watch because if Wendy knows about them, that means they're interesting people. <laughs> so it's an honor. It's an honor to be asked. So of course, comment below. What are your wins? You know, what are your hits and misses for 2017? I'm, I'm always interested to know. I feel like we have great conversations in my comments really great conversation. So like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you later, guys. Bye.